Hey guys, this is Tash the Starcross Stitcher. Hope you're all doing well. Um, I've got a few things to show you tonight, so let's just get to it. Um, oh, I apologize for the pajamas. Um, someone said with the vlogs, when you do the handheld style, it sort of makes you feel a bit sick because the camera moves too much. And I agree, that's not great. So I'm going to use the tripod when I can, but unfortunately that means you're going to see a lot of me in my pajamas because I basically always stitch in my pajamas. Um, I should just change my name to the pajama stitcher. <laughs> Maybe I will. <laughs> um, anyway, I have a finish. Ta-da! I finished Sir. It's a companion piece to my slut muffin. Sir and slut muffin. And these are going to go up above our bed. I love them. They're so cute. That way. There you go. Sir and slut muffin. Um, I put a little pink heart above the eye in Sir just to sort of tie, tie it back to this one. Then I went back and put a blue heart on top of the eye in slut muffin. So yeah. I'm really happy with those. They'll be finished into little five inch wooden hoops and then they'll go up above our bed. Um, a lot of people said it was a really cute idea and um, I agree it is a really cute idea. Um, I don't know, maybe our, our pet names aren't exactly what other people's pet names are for each other but I really think it's cute. Um, these passions came from the Snarky Art Company on Etsy and I'll have a link in the description below and they were stitched on 16 count antique white um, I finished that sir this morning. I got up early and stitched for half an hour so I could finish that because I just wanted to. This evening I've been working on And A Forest Grew. I started this during Mania. It's a stitch along I'm doing with my mum. Um, we're doing two motifs a week every Friday. And this Friday I did this tree and this tree. These two trees here. And I've basically finished page one now. There's one little mushroom that goes just there. And there's just the bottom of a tree and a bird just up there. Um, but yeah, page one's basically finished. I'll be moving this way um, to get to the middle. Because a lot of people do page one up here. Sorry, this is actually page eight. Page one is at the top. A lot of people do um, page one first. So I feel like I've seen all those motifs a lot. Um, but I really enjoy seeing these motifs. A lot of people don't get down to these ones until much later in their progress. So yeah. I think this looks adorable. This is um, stitched one over two on 35 count, some sort of natural linen. Um, I don't know who it's by, I don't know what the colour's called, it's just something mum had meters of in her stash and cut me off a nice big piece. Nice big piece! <laughs> so yes, that's And A Forest Grew. Um, my mum's Instagram is motif by hand if you want to go and see her progress because she's starting on page one. Um, and that's all the stitching I've got. I'm going to pick up stars by the drawn thread and work on this a little more. I'm sure I'll be able to, yeah, it's the 23rd today. I should be able to finish this by the end of the month. So that will be four finishes in a month. That's pretty good. Um, and if you're interested to stick around, I'm going to do a flick through of the latest issue of Inspirations magazine. This is issue 95 and it came in the mail for me today. If you're not interested, you can go. I won't feel bad. Um, <laughs> bye! Okay, so Inspirations, if you don't know, um, it's an Australian magazine uh, and they do all kinds of different embroidery and uh, some cross stitch. I don't think there's any cross stitch in this one. I haven't looked at it yet. I just opened it up. It really annoys me that it's bent, but that always happens in the mail, doesn't it? It's not too bad, it's not too bad, it's just just a little bit bent on the edge. Oh well, okay, let's let's have a look. Uh, look guys, let's all go on a cruise. A needlework cruise or tour. Wow, I want to do that. Let's do, oh that one's sold out, let's not do that one. Let's do 7th of September 2018, Queen to Queen, Historic Needlework and Stately Homes Workshop Tour. I like that. England, Scotland and Ireland Embroidery Stately Homes Workshop Tour. 13 days, wow. How nice would that be? Or the actual cruise. Yeah, we should do that. <laughs> that would be the ultimate retreat, right? Um, yeah. Sorry, I don't know why I'm showing you the ads. I was going to show you the patterns that are in... Oh, look at that! There's a black work pattern, that's good. These are the patterns that are in the magazine. I believe. So let's have a better look. Um, 
there is a profile on Mae Morris, the younger daughter of William Morris. Um, just, I don't know a little article about her and work. Oh look, it's pretty. Like a fireplace screen. Oh look at that one. Wow. I wonder if she stitched that. That says The June or Thames Freeze, designed and embroidered by May Morris, circa 1909 to 1910. Coloured walls on linen, worked in split stitch, chain stitch, long stitch and short stitch, satin stitch, stem stitch and French knots. So, good old... I'm getting terrible glare on that. Um, wow. And there's a nice verse on it, but I'm not going to read it. It's too long. You'll have to buy the magazine if you want to know. Oh, I, I, even the ads are fun to look at. <laughs> there's good ads in this. Um, shops from all over the world advertising this magazine, not just Australian ones, because I think it has a good worldwide circulation. Um, there's a profile on Chloe Giordano. She's talking about the embroidery she does. Isn't that cute? I love the little rabbit at the bottom there. I can't see what I'm showing you. I hope you can see the rabbit. And there's bird. The little stars. It's very cute says, I just layer straight stitches over and over, working from detailed drawings and photos. I stitch in blocks across the image. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. Look at the deer. Isn't that sweet? I like that. I wish I had, I wish I had the skill for this sort of needle painting of freehand embroidery. Freehand embroidery. It's just too hard for me. Um, okay. What's on? Events that are coming up? Anything interesting? In the USA, the San Francisco School of Needlework and Design opened in June. Um, in the UK, there's a Royal School of Needlework exhibition. There's an, art, there's an exhibition of the art and life of Mae Morris in the UK. Uh, there's nothing happening in Canberra, of course. And I don't care about the other states, so I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> um, they do some book reviews. Uh, if you care. Let's get to the projects, come on. Threading the Zen through the needle. Oh. Oh. It's an article about needlework being a form of mindfulness sort of meditation. Yeah. Did I breathe with each stitch? Did I examine the work after each stitch? What were my associated thoughts? Did this process allow me to stay connected to the present? I've done some some coaching in mindfulness meditation and I can't stand it. I was sitting there and they're saying they give they gave everyone in the group a raisin and they spent literally 10 minutes like telling you how to see the raisin and feel the texture of the raisin and feel the, the squishiness of the raisin and put it in your mouth but don't chew it and feel the hardness of the outside but start to taste the skin dissolving and oh my gosh I was just bored by the end I didn't I'm not into it. Okay stump work Enchanted Forest by Zineda Kazban of the UK. Oh, look how cute is that? A little bunny. Uh, they always have a better, a better picture of the actual design after the first spread. Uh, yeah, they do really good charts in this magazine. I still could never do it though. Like really good pictures showing you like the direction of the stitches for needle painting and stuff, but I still can't do it. Very step by step. Oh, that's cool. Like, here's how to lay down some felt padding. And then do your, your um, satin stitching across it so it has some dimension. That's good. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty, right? Right wire. Here's how to couch your wire down onto the grounding fabric. Here's how to wrap your wire. <laughs> oh, look at this. How pretty is that? Those attached leaves. I'm not getting good light here, I'm sorry. There, there's a reflection from my computer screen. Uh, Savannah Glory thread painting by Renette Cum of South Africa. I love the colours on that. It's really pretty, but I would never be able to do this. It looks like those Trish Burr birds. Pretty. So pretty. Yeah, again, I mean, they they show you the direction of the stitches. 
really, um, oh, those, that palette is so pretty. So pretty. It's a very inspiring magazine, isn't it? Like it just, every time, every design I see in here, I want to stitch. Han, sorry, I'm reading it upside down and I can't read. Hannah Batake, flower garden. Oh, this is a Margaret Lee beaded purse. There we go. Go. Try not to get any glare on it. There'll be a better picture. There'll be a better picture. Ah, that's quite pretty. It's just beads. It looks like. Yeah. Easily, easily done. Uh, Margaret Lee. She's a teacher who often comes to beating around the bush which is the retreat that inspirations put on and I've, I've been tempted to do one of her classes uh, especially since I went to Vietnam and saw the um, the Asian embroidery that the Vietnamese embroidery that do that because she teaches Asian embroidery styles Japanese embroidery Japanese um, beaded embroidery silk embroidery like it's just so pretty I really think um, but again, this is the sort of freehand thread painting type of embroidery that I, I just don't have that kind of artistic skill. Um, there isn't a passion in here from her, just just the article about her. Oh, I like this. This is pretty. This is so pretty. Look, strawberry fair. And it opens up into, like, accessory case. You put your scissors and everything in. I really like this. What I, what I sometimes think I might do with some of these is because... I can do this embroidery. I don't enjoy doing it so much. Um, but you could take the pattern and like cut it out of linen and do cross stitch and then use the finishing instructions to make it up. Mm -hmm. You could. That is so pretty. Like even look at these little thread winders here. It's just so pretty. There's a space for every tool. Except except thread heaven. If you use thread heaven, I don't use thread heaven. Ah, oh, they have such pretty close-up pictures of stitches and so on. Um, the requirements are huge. Big requirements list. Oh, that's interesting. There are actual illustrations of like the stitches rather than photographs. Which is different. I don't like that as much as the photographs. Yeah, it's really pretty. I like it. Oh, look at those photos. Ooh, it's like, this is like pornography for me. I love it. <laughs> These are really close up photos where you can see really good detail. Oh my gosh. I love it. Um, alternating half stitch chain. Look, that's a bit different to sort of a, the, the corded braid that we usually do. The twisted cording. This is a little bit different. Looks pretty. Might try that out. Um, yeah, lots of excellent stitch diagrams as usual for these magazines. Just so good. Really excellent stitch. Oh, I want to do this. I want to do this. It's so pretty. Okay. Oh, here is the Blackwig Rose. It's called Black Beauty by Victoria Lane of Australia. Here we go. And the materials say it uses... Okay, six weights of black cotton and silk. So it's just six, yeah. So you've got Averisois silk, DMC number 50 sewing cotton, DMC stranded cotton, Piper's 4 slash 20 twisted silk, and then Rasant, Rasant polyester slash cotton sewing thread. Cool. And then, yeah, it's just black work. Look, there's also a black work strawberry in one of the older issues. Yeah, pretty. I don't want to do some black work, but this one looks like a more boring one. I want to do one with lots of different patterns in it. But I do love how just different weights of thread. All in the same it's all the same pattern, it's just different weight of thread. It's really amazing. Black work is amazing, right? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. So here's a needle artist profile, which they do. It's like a profile of people who do good needlework. And this piece I actually saw in person at one of the beating around the bushes I went to. It's black work, the lady with the pearl. It's really pretty, really amazing. And she'd like just design that herself. Amazing. Um, I love this pumpkin. That's like, um, 
Counted Needlepoint, I think. I want to do some Counted Needlepoint. Love those goldwork seahorses. I love the froggy. How cute is the frog? Ugh, so cute. My gosh. Late Harvest Cruel Embroidery by Anna Scott. I'm not such a fan of that. There's nice passions on the leaves, but I wouldn't I probably wouldn't ever stitch that. I guess it's a wine bag. There's a better picture. The embroidery. Not, they are nice patterns on the leaves. Um, let's see what's next. Ugh, yuck. I don't like ribbon embroidery. Ribbon and surface embroidery by Lorna Beatman. It's called My Cottage Garden. Not a fan of that. I just don't like the look of it. Maybe it just looks very old fashioned to me. Um, and then we get to all the ads for all the shops. There's pages and pages and pages of it. You can, of course, buy kits for everything that's in the book. And you get a subscriber discount if you're subscribed. Uh, then you get all of the patterns, lift outs at the back. And that's it. That's Inspirations, issue number 95. I use, I have only just picked up my subscription. I've got three issues since I picked up my subscription. Um, uh, yeah, I stopped subscribing about two years ago. Um, and I had been subscribed for about three years before that. So I've got a big gap in my collection that I might try and fill. Because they have some beautiful projects. Um, there's one... Hang on, I'll be right back. Yeah, it's in this one. This is issue 93. I'm just going to show you one thing from this. Um, if I can find it. Right, right, right. This is Cross Stitch. It's by Betsy Morgan. It's called Tall Year Square. And it is like this. Each side, it's a box. It opens up like this. See? See? The four sides lift up when you lift the lid. And it, on the inside, you put all of your little scissors and so on. How cute is that? Each side is a different season. I just think it's so pretty. I want to do it really badly. Um, and it's cross stitch and just little cross stitch and embroidery patterns. I love this. And feather stitching. Are you watching? This reminds me of the things, those C.A. Wells things you used to do. Oh my gosh. Because I can't find any C.A. Wells stuff to purchase online. But I just think this is so pretty. So pretty, yeah. So this will be in my future. The kit is 188 Australian dollars for subscribers, so isn't that gorgeous? This is a, what is it, Nicola Jarvis. Pretty, right? Yeah. Anyway, I wasn't going to show you the rest of that magazine. Unless you want to, unless you want me to, um, I can show you in another video. Anyway, this has been quite a long one for just a vlog, so... I'll catch you guys later and happy stitching. Bye.